unlock the mysteries of our cosmos, and witness the awe-inspiring beauty that lies beyond our understanding with these top five black hole theories. From revolutionary new discoveries about their physics to radical ideas on what lurks behind a dark event horizon, these mind-blowing theories will leave you spellbound. See how current research is answering questions like, what causes massive clouds of material to form around supermassive black holes? What is the stellar collapse theory? What is the primordial black holes theory? Get ready for a journey deep into the realm of science fiction as we explore some truly incredible ideas about our celestial neighbors. My name is Adam Anderson, and here are my top five mind-blowing theories on black holes. Let's dive in. The event horizon theory is a fundamental concept in the study of black holes. And no, I'm not talking about the spaceship called the event horizon. It is defined as the boundary around a black hole beyond which nothing can escape, not even light. The event horizon is the point of no return for anything that crosses it, as the gravitational pull of the black hole becomes so strong that not even light can escape. This means that any object that crosses the event horizon is effectively trapped within the black hole, and its fate is determined by the singularity at the center of the black hole. The event horizon is an important concept in the study of black holes because it defines the boundary between our observable universe and a region of space-time from which we cannot observe anything. Once an object has crossed the event horizon, it is effectively cut off from the rest of the universe. This makes it impossible for us to observe anything that happens beyond the event horizon, and it also means that any information contained within the object is lost forever. The event horizon is an essential component of the theory of black holes, and it has been used to develop a better understanding of the nature of these mysterious objects. Clouds of dust around black holes are a common feature. These clouds are formed from the debris of stars and other objects that have been torn apart by the black hole's intense gravitational forces. The dust clouds are often found in accretion disks, which are rotating disks of gas and dust that surround the black hole. The dust in these clouds can range in size from tiny particles to larger chunks of matter, and they can be observed using a variety of different telescopes and imaging techniques. The presence of these dust clouds can have a significant impact on the behavior of black holes. As the dust particles move around the black hole, they can generate intense radiation that can be detected by telescopes. The radiation emitted by these dust clouds can provide important insights into the properties of the black hole, such as its mass and spin. Additionally, the presence of dust clouds can affect the behavior of matter as it falls towards the black hole, altering the shape and dynamics of the accretion disk. This can have important implications for the rate at which the black hole is growing and how it interacts with its surrounding environment. Overall, the study of dust clouds around black holes is an important area of research that can help us to better understand the nature of these mysterious objects and the dynamics of the galaxies in which they reside. Stellar collapse theory is a fundamental concept in the study of black holes. According to this theory, Black holes are formed when massive stars run out of fuel and exhaust their nuclear fusion processes. When this happens, the star's core collapses under its own gravitational pull, becoming denser and denser until it forms a singularity, a point of infinite density at the center of the collapsed star. The singularity is surrounded by an event horizon, which marks the boundary beyond which nothing can escape, not even light. The process of stellar collapse is driven by the star's own gravity, which becomes stronger as the star's mass increases. The more massive the star, the greater the force of gravity, and the more intense the collapse. The gravitational collapse also generates a tremendous amount of heat and energy, which is released in the form of a supernova explosion. This explosion can be so bright that it outshines entire galaxies and can be visible from Earth. Once the explosion has subsided, what remains is a black hole, which continues to exert its gravitational pull on surrounding matter. The study of stellar collapse theory has led to a better understanding of the life cycle of stars and the formation of black holes. It has also helped us to understand the physics of extreme gravitational fields and the nature of singularities. This theory has been supported by observations of supernova and the behavior of stars in binary systems. Overall, the study of stellar collapse theory is an important area of research that can provide important insights into the workings of the universe. The primordial black holes theory proposes that black holes could have formed in the early universe shortly after the Big Bang. According to this theory, 
Fluctuations in the density of matter in the universe could have led to the formation of small dense regions that were capable of collapsing under their own gravity to form black holes. These black holes are thought to have formed from the universe's primordial matter, making them fundamentally different from the more conventional theory of stellar collapse. The idea is that these regions could have formed from the intense gravitational forces present during the early stages of the universe's formation. As the universe expanded and cooled, these regions would have collapsed under their own gravity to form black holes. Although there is currently no direct observational evidence for the existence of primordial black holes, they could help us to better understand the nature of the universe in its earliest stages and provide new insights into the formation of galaxies and other cosmic structures. The PBH theory is still largely speculative, but recent studies have suggested that the detection of gravitational waves could provide evidence for their existence. White hole theory is a speculative concept in theoretical physics that proposes the existence of a hypothetical celestial object that is the opposite of a black hole. While black holes are known for their immense gravitational pull that sucks in everything around them, white holes are theorized to be regions of space-time that repel all matter and energy. They are thought to be the opposite of black holes in every way, with nothing being able to enter them, but only leave them. The concept of white holes is based on the idea of time reversibility, which is a fundamental concept in physics that states that the laws of physics should work equally well whether time is moving forwards or backwards. The existence of white holes has not been proven by any observational evidence, and there are no known astronomical objects that can be identified as white holes. However, white holes are a feature of some solutions to the equations of general relativity, the theory of gravity developed by Albert Einstein. These solutions suggest that white holes could be connected to black holes through a hypothetical wormhole, which is a tunnel-like structure in space-time that connects distant regions of the universe. White holes are still considered to be purely theoretical, but their existence could have significant implications for our understanding of the nature of space-time and the laws of physics. In conclusion, the white hole theory proposes the existence of a hypothetical celestial object that is the opposite of a black hole. They are thought to be regions of space-time that repel all matter and energy, and nothing can enter them, but only leave them. While white holes have not been proven by any observational evidence, their existence could have significant implications for our understanding of the nature of space-time and the laws of physics. I hope you enjoyed our video today. Please let us know any ideas or suggestions you may have in the comments below.